All right, folks, today is Friday, May 24th, 2019. It's been a little while since I've done a video update on this car. Um, <clears throat> really, I'm, I'm really, really close to the finish line here. It's just taken me a while to get here. Uh, man, it's just been busy. Summertime, weekend stuff, birthday stuff, graduation stuff. So, um, but I, I do have everything to finish the car. So this may be one of the last videos for this car. What I'm going to be doing is installing basically stereo system <coughs> and, uh, uh, wiring up the windshield wipers. So what I got here is some, I believe it's custom, custom auto sound kick panels. They sell them all over eBay. A lot of vendors out there sell these things. They call for six and a half inch speakers. Um, the cutout, I believe, is like five inch, but the six and a halfs fit in there good with plenty of room to, uh, to screw them down. So I dyed these things with the dupli color dye from AutoZone. It matches pretty good, matches the uh, floor mats really good. So I'm going to be putting the speakers in in this. I got another pair for, uh, for the rear seat and for under the dash. So we're going to go four, six and a halves. That's it. Not too fancy. Um, got these things on Amazon for $42 shipped for all four speakers, which is really good. And they're really thin, so hopefully it clears everything like it should. Did a little homework on that. I got a retro, uh, retro sound speaker, or I'm sorry, stereo. Um, it's a detachable face. Well, it's not really detachable. It requires some assembly. So I might do a little video on that uh, individually. Um, so it's just, uh, you know, one of them classic car classic vehicle looking stereos with Bluetooth, USB, couple presets, auxiliary outputs, RCA jacks. So kind of keep the theme with the original looking dash. Hopefully it fits good. Um, this thing is like completely adjustable. So we'll see. I got my uh, Newport uh, wiper motor switch with original knob, bezel, retainer nut. I picked that up today um, from a buddy of mine. And uh, I'm gonna wire this up, put that in the dash. Lastly, this finally came in. This took about, <clears throat> man, five weeks to come in maybe. It's a, it's a firewall pad for a heater delete because as you can see with the, ones, the stock ones they sell, uh, that doesn't look too hot. So the driver's side came out okay. You know, it's just kind of up there, mocked up there for now. But the passenger side, I wasn't liking the way that looked at all. I thought about maybe putting a, man, some black carpet or, you know, undercoating over that or something just to kind of hide it because it's really loud and obvious. I mean, from here, it ain't that bad, but, you know, that's, that doesn't look good. So I looked on eBay and they, they make these things. It was about $85 shipped to the house. It's a heater delete, one piece. Should stab under there pretty good. Comes with some clips, which may may not even use. I have to see what's under there. I think I covered them all up. But it should jam in there and pretty much hold itself in place. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. Like I said, this was about 85 bucks shipped, and they make them to order. So that was what took so long. Uh, took like a month to make and a week to get to me. Uh, so it has a cutouts for the fuse box and all that. But uh, so I'm going to be putting this in along with the radio kick panels. Wiper switch that should be about it. Um, just got to put some insurance on this thing and we're ready to go on the road. So stay tuned. Just want to do a quick little video here and uh, thanks for watching. All right, uh, today's Saturday, May 25th, 2019. Just want to do a little part two of this uh, stereo install that I did on this car. So this is a retro sound. Um, Man, I forget the model name, but it's a Bluetooth radio. Uh, Bluetooth has USB, has auxiliary output, has headphone jack, I believe. Has an FM, AM, FM radio antenna if you want to use that. Two pairs of RCAs. Um, hooks up pretty simple. Three wires. You got ground, ignition, power, speaker wires, and then you have a remote if you want to run external amp. Overall, the fit and finish is pretty good on this. Um, it has plenty of adjustments, so the knobs adjust uh, left and right, and then also in and out, so you can you can get it pretty good. I felt like I did the best I could with it. 
end up using original uh, 64 knob or radio knobs. Uh, you do have to drill those out a little bit from the backside, wallow them out so they fit over the, uh, the shafts, and then those stay on with the uh, little Allen Allen screw set screw on it. So they do come with different style knobs if you want, but I I got these that came with the radio, so that's pretty cool. Nice little touch. Um, end up using these uh, custom audio sound kick panels, six and a half inch. They're okay. They're decent. I end up dying them. They come black, plastic or whatever. Dying them to match the floor mats. Just some rattle can, dupla color. Um, came out okay. Overall, the kick panels they're okay. They get the job done. It's my second time running these. Um, ultimately, I would like some fiberglass molded and painted kick panels with maybe a little component set. I'm not a big stereo guy, but um, these get the job done, but they're kind of meh. But they do look good. They look good. And uh, over here on this side, we were able to clear the emergency brake pedal. So close fit, but they do fit. Um, I did do some research on these, so they're they're shallow, shallow magnets. Um, end up putting a firewall pad in. Like I say, this is a heater delete firewall pad. Um, really impressed with that. A special order off of eBay. Some company makes them, I believe, in Pennsylvania or something. So it covers up the insulation good, trims trims off the carpet, finishes off. Overall, really impressed with that. Uh, put the gas pedal on, threw my floor mats in. All I need is a brake pedal pad, and pretty much the in interior is complete. So overall, on the uh, retro sound, all right, I don't know why the phone cut off, but overall, uh, my review on the retro sound is it's a, it's a good piece. It's a very delicate piece. The screws are very small, very tedious work. Uh, it's a detachable face, face plate. Well, not really detachable, but it's a two-piece radio. Um, overall, it wasn't very hard. Came with some okay instructions. Um, I'd buy it again. I'd buy it over the custom auto sounds all day. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this car. I'm going to take a good video of it tomorrow after I wash it. Good walk-around video in the sun. Um... I got two options here. I'm either going to list this car for sale or I'm going to bust out the whole saw. So we'll see what happens. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos on this car and stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.